So welcome to the last part of lecture 17 on our lecture on the properties of determinants. So in this part, I just want to quickly run through some additional properties of determinants that it's good to know. So the first theorem kind of captures many of these results. The first is we have some square matrices and we have some non-zero constant. What is the determinant? The first statement is telling us about the determinant of the transpose. And the determinant of the transpose is actually the exact same thing as the determinant that you started with. What happens if you multiply a matrix by a constant? Well, then the determinant is going to be k to the n times the determinant of a, okay? Under the assumption that a is an n by n matrix. So for example, if a was a 10 by 10 matrix and k was three, you would have three to the 10 times the determinant. What's the determinant of the products? So this is a very nice fact, is that the determinant of the products of two matrices is just the product of the determinants, which is a nice result. And the final one is if your matrix is invertible, the determinant of your, inv of your inverse is one over the determinant of your original matrix. And since the proof of four is kind of very straightforward, let me explain why it's true. So A invertible means that A times A inverse is equal to the identity matrix. So by statement three, what we have is that one, which is equal to the determinant of the identity, is equal to the determinant of A times A trans inverse. And then this is statement three, this is equal to the determinant of A times the determinant of A inverse. And now we just take this equation and solve for the determinant of A inverse, right? So this implies that the determinant of A inverse is one over the determinant of A. Okay, so it gives a nice result. Proving three is actually the hardest of the of these three statements, but uh, you don't need to know the proof for this. But you should uh, know how to you should know this particular statement. Okay. Now you'll notice that there's one thing that's missing there, comparing the determinant of a plus b and the sum of the two determinants, and that's because it's not true. Okay. So in general, the determinant of a plus b does not equal and sorry, this is a little messy, so let me clean this up, is not equal to the sum of the two determinants. And to justify that fact, here are three matrices. We have A, B, and then the sum of the two matrices. Our first matrix here has determinant of A equaling to minus five. The determinant of B is negative two, and the determinant of A plus B is minus 10. And you see that these two numbers, minus five plus minus two, obviously does not equal minus 10. So there were a lot of things in today's lecture, uh, mostly about how determinants and row operations behave, and then properties of determinants. And probably one thing I should have maybe added here is, and I'll put that in right now, is determinant and inverses. And we will be using this fact uh, quite heavily late in, later in the course. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, introduction to properties of determinants. Uh, next time we're actually going to talk about some of the meaning of the determinant. So until then, uh, have, a, have a good day.